back with another video all right so this video we're gonna go ahead and discuss tier three victorious in her emperor guardier uniform which looks pretty dope so she's uh more like a uh robot in this uniform basically uh but you know this is her very first uniform uh so and she is a uh premium character technically so if you don't have the the premium uh bio selector uh she is in the epic quest and it is for 6600 crystals uh, to unlock Doomsday, and as you can see, you get her ball shifters. Uh, so yeah, she is a premium character, or you can farm her. Uh, from in in the Shadow of Doom or Latverian Champion. So you can farm at least three or uh, six times a day to get her bios. So uh, she is kind of. Uh, semi free to play, but she's more of a premium character. All right. Uh, so we're gonna go over the build and all that other stuff. Now, Victorious is like a hybrid between Destroyer and Hulk. And what I mean by that is her uh, basic uniform, her basic look. As you can see, she only has four skills and she has uh, three passives. And a leadership. So in her base kit, she only has four skills, like destroyer. Now with the uniform, she has five now, which is pretty cool. So, and she has a tier three. All right. So, and what I mean by Hulk is most of her damage is scaled off her HP, just like Hulk. So you don't have to give her energy attack Uru or none of that. You have to give her HP. The higher her HP is, the more damage she can do. Because all her damage is based off her HP. So, that's why I said she's like Hulk and Destroyer. Uh, kind of similar like that. Alright, so I'm going to get into the build. Then we'll do a look at her skills. And then see what she can do in World Boss. Alright, so the skills, her tier 2 passive. She does get uh, crit damage increased by 30%, uh, guaranteed dodge by 30%, and 30% chance to increase crit damage by 100% on critical attacks. Uh, her four-star passive in this uniform gives all allies 40% increase of HP, and for herself, she gets 20% uh, penetration and guaranteed crit rate. All right, and her leadership, she does have a self buff and lead, uh, increase of all attack by 35%. And she's a leadership for Dr. Doom with 65% increase of energy attack. All right, the first skill uh, has stun, second has incapacitation and paralysis with the damage immunity. The third has a 60 60 20 uh, frenzy buff. And then the fourth skill has a 15% heal. Invincible and an 100% increase of max HP for 10 seconds. And the fifth skill has a 10 times barrier. So, yeah. And the tier three uh, has invincible and a 20% damage proc. Yes, a 20% damage proc. So that's kind of low. That's really low. But uh, she's more of a support character. And I'll let you know why, besides the leadership. All right, her typing is rank four. Uh, she has a stage 12 power ranger Hulk. Now for the Chaotix, I did not roll or uh, have, I didn't roll for like all attack or energy attack. So I got crit rate HP, crit rate HP, and crit damage HP. Because all her attacks are scaled off her HP. So, uh if you have any chaotic that's like crit damage, HP, or uh, I think that's the only rolls you can get on it. As long as it has HP on the bottom, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I do not have the artifact yet. I have a crit rate, uh, mini rage 
obelisk, uniforms in mythic. All right, and the roles are attack speed, double HP, all defense, and crit rate. Her uniform effect for herself is super armor all defense and a 30% damage reduction, which is very nice. Uh, the uniform options is Punisher, uh, Jean Grey, Electro, Absorbing Man, and Bat the Basic Spider Man. So, very nice. Okay, uh, this is the Urus that I have on her. Basically, all uh, HP Uru dodge and crit rate, and I do have it in order defense. So that's what it looks like right now. I have to clean it up a little bit. All right, her energy attack is at uh, thirty-eight thousand seven hundred. Her defense are pretty decent at twenty-two, and her HP is at uh, one hundred seven. All right. And then all her stats are capped, except for her movement speed. Uh, her abilities are energy project, energy projection, and fast movement. And as you can see, she is a leader and a support. All right. And then her artifact, which I kind of missed in the um, patch note video. Sorry about that. Her uh, artifact is for universal types. So she has a um, support artifact. So it gives it no dodge by 15% and increases all attack by 20 if you get a six star. So that's really nice. We did another uh, universal support character. All right. And we're going to go to the skill previews. <clears throat> all right. You can see she is kind of guess all that metal is kind of wearing her down. She's pretty pretty slow. Alright, the first skill. Okay, she's a little quick slash with the javelin. Second skill. Okay, she does a lot of teleporting in this one, which is pretty dope. Alright, third skill. She drops the Latvian flag. And the spear is coming down. It's pretty cool. Uh, four skills. She twirls it around. And not bad. Not bad. Now you see she does get the heal. Okay. Fifth skill. It's kind of like her old skill. But uh, she doesn't like throw a whole bunch of flags at you. She does, does a whole lot of slashing and twirling. Okay. And the tier three, which is pretty dope. Okay. All right, so the practice combo, what they want you to do is three, slam down four, and twirl around in five. But like I said, there's a lot of delays in this one. All right, so... So when you slam down the flag, go into the four, wait till the uh, the uh, spirits come down, and I'm missing every time. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty rough. Okay, yeah. As soon as the spirits uh, come, as soon as they start coming down, go into the five, and then the tier three rotation, the same thing. Boom, boom. Oh, I messed that one up. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's weird. Okay, and then going to the six. But as you can see, she does have a low hit count, fifty nine hits. That's not it's not gonna move the needle, but she's just a support character. All right, so I'm going to uh, just try this girl out in uh, World Balls with a crit rate uh, mini rage proc obelisk. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna do stage nine on null. Now, like I said, she has her own leadership. Uh, there are better leaderships out there, but like um, Ronan, you can definitely do do that. All right, but we're gonna just try her leadership, and we're using Ronan support because I do have his artifact, 
And it's the same thing, just for all allies, increases basic attack. So she's got that. And then I think that was it. Yeah, that was it on him. And then we have uh, Iron Heart, which also gives. Uh, she's a leadership, but she has a good support also. Where she gives it nor dodge and increases basic damage dealt to boss types. All right, so I'm gonna use this team right here. Hunting right, level, we're gonna see how she does on stage nine. <clears throat> but I'm just gonna give her an insight, especially if I get her artifact. So that's all I'm gonna use her for support. Alright, three, boom, boom, boom. Alright, not bad, not bad. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. But it is stage nine. So... Tier three. Okay. All right, not bad. Four sixteen. That's not bad. All right, let's see. Let's see what stage. She's not a human. Yes, she is. She is a human. I don't know what I'm talking about. She's a human. She stays 19. We could do... Do something like that. Alright. Because he has a support also. <clears throat> I just want to see how far she can go with the little little uh, hit she has on her kit, and I got stunned. So, <laughs> all right, that kind of messed my rotation up. That's okay. Okay. Propped on the tier three. Okay. Doing decent. Okay, not missing any uh, procs. That's pretty decent and pretty good. Okay. Save the tier three. All right, 333. Okay, that's not bad. 333. Uh, if you did want to use it for World Boss Legend, uh, you would definitely have to give her a rage. Because of uh, so many delays in her rotation, uh, a rage would, would be beneficial. Uh, if you did want to use it in a World Boss Legend, um, uh, she does have super armor all defense and all that, so, mm, and damage reduction, You'd probably give her a, um, a mighty destruction also, she does have a little bit of penetration, but 
It's not much. But, uh, like I said, though, I would just give this girl an insight because of the artifacts she does have. And, like I said, the leadership for Dr. Doom uh, will be beneficial also, especially uh, for Universals. So, uh, just a quick little showcase of Victorious Tier 3. Uh, let me know what y'all guys think of the uniform. Uh, hit me in the comment box down below. Uh, make sure y'all smash that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.